after morning. I got up six times with Paxton, so I just ended up sticking in his pinky and then um, ended up feeding him. And so I'm pretty tired. I don't know if Kendall ever got up with Harvey. The boys are just starting to wake up. Never just got out of bed, huh? Are we gonna have breakfast? Yeah. What do you want for breakfast? Cereal. Cereal. So we're gonna go have breakfast. We're gonna get this day started. Um, stay tuned with us for a day in the life with newborns. Good morning, kiddo. Good morning. Oh. Big boy, good morning. Oh, thanks, love. No problem. Here. Want me to pack some? I'll feed Paxton. He eats fast. Did you have to get up with the boys last night? No. Oh. But what time did you wake up? I got up at... Well, I was awake at 7.30 and Maverick was kind of rustling around making some noise, but then I got him out of his room about 8. This is abnormal. He has been getting Are up. you playing on your chalkboard? Pink. Oh, pink chalk. And white. And white. And blue chalk. Oh, you break it? Oh, do you broke the chalk stick? That's okay. Well, they just finished eating. Kind of. Paxton didn't eat it all. Oh, really? Paxton Crandall, what are you doing, kiddo? Why you don't want to eat your food? Food, food. We have a busy day today, but first we got to film some stuff for collaboration and get that done. And then Crandall has to go to work. And we got to meet him up there and get some concrete. I told Crandall that I would be ready to film in seven minutes. I have dry shampoo left over in my hair from last night. So I don't really have to do a ton, but I also got to do a ton. We're all dressed. Well, I'm dressed. Colonel, the just kids aren't dressed. where's that? But we're getting ready to film a collaboration. Then Colonel has to go to his real job. Yep, I'm going. I'm building a wheelchair ramp right now for a lady. So I've got to go finish putting that down, pour some concrete. I'll be done. Hopefully I'm finished with it today. We like when he's here. I just put both boys down. They have been dressed. They have their diapers changed. They've ate, and now they're going back to bed. So they take about three naps every single day. So this is nap one. Some days they don't actually wanna take naps. So we're just sitting here doing a contact nap with him, trying to get him to sleep so that he's not overtired. I feel like stuff like this always happens. So I finally got Harvey down. I had to refeed him. Then I put him down. I got, Paxton is still asleep. Maverick is now in quiet time. He might be asleep, he might not be. Um, I don't really know. But now like we have lunch to clean up. We have the collaboration to put away. We have toys to put away. I have dishes to do. Just a ton of stuff. I just. I take, so what I try to do is right when the kids all are down, I try to take 20 minutes for myself to sit and watch a show or just look at my phone. Today I just read through comments on YouTube for our other channel, The Eldridge Fam. So I just read through comments and so that was really nice and now I'm going to vacuum and clean up the house um, for like 10-15 minutes, hopefully before Paxton wakes up to eat. One of the reasons Maverick isn't taking a nap is because he pooped. Dirty diaper number two for Maverick. I feel like I have so much to do and I can never get everything done. I'm just taking Goose outside to go to the bathroom. I got to vacuum. I still have to start the laundry and Paxton is just about waking up. Let me tell you, postpartum hair loss is freaking real and I won't show you, but like between my hair and Goose's hair, I ended up having to empty the trash, like the bag thing, 
like four times. And it's like all hair, like not even dirt, just hair. I just realized that I haven't eaten any lunch today or any breakfast I haven't eaten today. I think I had a few crackers with some cheese, um, but I'm starting to feel it. I'm starting to feel a little bit dizzy, which has been happening quite a bit lately. And so I gotta get some water, get some food, and then feed the boys. Here's my sandwich and my drink. I'm just gonna watch a teeny bit of TV while I eat my sandwich and then I'm gonna feed the boys. The boys are fed, Crandall is ready for us to get there. So I'm gonna put them in their car seats, put Maverick in the car, and we're gonna go see Dada. Yeah. I made it. Marsh is coming to help me. We needed two trucks to carry this concrete. How many bags did we get? 40. And I have to lift all 40 of those into the mixer, mix it, and dump it. It's gonna be a long night. That's a nice upper body workout. Yeah. Yeah, 40, 80 pound bags over my head. Oh. Wait, they're 80 pounds? Yeah. I thought they were 40. 40, no. 40 pounds. I bought the 80 pound. Maverick is 100% Crandall's boy. Like, this little boy loves Lowe's. He loves being here. I mean, just look at them. They're just sitting there together, guys. It's so cute. Like, I just love it i love watching them grow together and that sounds weird but like watching crandall become a dad to maverick and then redo it with these boys like it's so much fun and it's been like the greatest experience there's that a whole bed full of concrete i'll love i'll help you move a few maybe huh I don't know. After having twins, I feel like I lost all of my muscle. I don't know if I can even lift one bag. I think I have way too much for what I'm doing. Oh, I hope so. I hope we could take back like 10 bags. Look, I moved all those by myself. Okay, I moved them from here to there. That's the most help you've done. I mean, I mean that in the best way possible, but Marcy doesn't do much of the manual labor, y'all. I don't, and that one was heavy. I mean, I do some of it, but not that weight. I'm just getting home. So what happened is we unloaded the concrete and then Crandall took the boys home because he was done working for the day. And I ran up to the store and picked up some sour cream and some lettuce for dinner. So I just got back. Hi Maverick. And now we're gonna get dinner ready, bathe Maverick and put him to bed. This is one hard thing about having twins is one can be crying and you be helping the other one and sometimes you just have to let them cry so that you can get things done or help feed the other one, huh, buddy? This is Paxton, for those of you who don't know. That is Harvey. Oh, Harvey has some air in there. Did you yeah, hear does. that? Do you have some air? Uh -oh. oh, poor bud. I remember, look, I don't know how this happens, but by the end of the day, he always looks that dirty. He goes outside for like 10 minutes and then comes back in looking like that. So he just likes playing the dirt outside. Daddy found you. Sucker, huh? He's our little thumb sucker. He does everything he can to get his thumb. You boys ready for your bath? Yeah, we're gonna play for a minute and then we're gonna have a bath. It's bath They're going into it together. <laughs> Hands <laughs> held. Step one is complete. <laughs> Who's going first? That's right, Pax. You're gonna go first today. This little boy's all done. 
This little boy to go. They're so cute. Hi, kiddos. Hi. Want to know what's even cuter? If you guys remember from two minutes earlier, Maverick is wearing the exact same pair of pajamas. Locked and loaded, ready to feed him and go to bed. Ugh, I still have to shower. Maybe Crandall will put him to bed so I can shower. <laughs> Good night, buddy. We love you. Good night, buddy. Where's your book? You got two? Okay, thank you. One sec, buddy. Well, that's it, everybody. We're going to bed. The uh, kids went down to bed. Huh? Did you have to go back in for the boys? Yeah, just for Harry's binky, but he turned over and went straight to sleep. He oh, was tired. Good. Hopefully we won't have to get up very many times during the night, but if we do, that's the life of it. And thanks for tuning in, everybody. Have a great night. Thanks for watching.